I washed my hair last night um, and then I slept on it and it's better to have kind of second day hair for this just because if your hair doesn't curl naturally very well it will just make it curl a bit better. And then I'm just going to brush through my entire hair, it's a bit knotty because I've just woken up so sorry about that but um, yeah brush through it and then I'm going to spray through my heat protectant. So just spray that everywhere. And once all your hair is brushed through, you want to get your parting the way you like it. I've really been liking mine in this kind of just off centre parting. I just think it looks really flattering with the curls. So that's how I've been wearing my hair recently. But obviously you guys can put your parting wherever you want. And then it's just really simple. I'm just going to section off my hair, probably just where my ears are. So just pull up that top section. Pretty standard. It's like how you would if you were straightening your hair. So just pull all of that back. And then just twist it up and clip it. And then it gets on to the actual real simple part of the curling. So I'm going to take my curling wand. Um, I've had it set on the second heat setting, so the hotter one of the two. And then I'm just going to take random size sections. So the first one I'll take will probably be quite little, the one by my ear. I brush that through again. And then I just start wrapping the hair around the wand. And then you can hold it on for as long as you want. Obviously, the longer you hold it on, the tighter the curl's going to be. So I probably hold, I don't know, I change every time just so that I have some tighter curls and some looser ones. But you can see that I probably held that for about 10 seconds. I don't really know. But there's one curl. And then just move along and take another random piece. This time I'll probably take about this amount. The key to it is just taking different sizes each time and holding it on for different lengths of time and it will give you a nice kind of random selection of curls. So again, just wrap it round. And just hold it on. And let it drop. You can see that's the curl I got there. It's a lot looser than the first one. So I'll do it one more time. This time I'll take a smaller piece. Take about this much hair. And again, just wrap it round. Now this um, conical wand, I think that's what it's called, um, or curling wand, did come with a heat proof glove but I've lost mine so um, yeah if you can it's better to get a heat proof glove just so you don't burn yourself but um, I've had a lot of practice so nine times out of ten I won't burn myself which hopefully <laughs> I won't in this video so as you can see here they're kind of all different looking curls and that's what's key to the look so I'm gonna keep just taking random sizes and holding it on for random amounts of time. I probably wouldn't hold my hair on for any longer than 10 seconds um, just because it wouldn't really change the curl much and it would just damage your hair so again just wrap it round and just leave it on for as long as you think. This look really just takes a bit of practice to see what you like and how long you want to hold it on for and all things like that so I'm going to carry on and do this bottom layer and then come back and do the next layer. bottom layer probably took me around two to three minutes to do the entire thing um, hopefully you can see it definitely will drop out as the day goes I mean it'll start dropping out from now um, and I don't hairspray any of the curls just because I don't find I need to but um, if you want to you can but I would say that hairspraying them will probably prevent them from dropping out as much and I think it looks really pretty when they get really loose um, so that's up to you. Then I just move on to the next section. So I pull out that first section that we just curled and I just really loosely tie it with a hair tie just so it's out the way. Um, I probably only wrap it around about twice so it's really really loose. Um, and then I take out the upper layers. I mean I have a lot of hair so this probably takes me longer than the average person but um, I section it again probably about where my temples are. So 
once you've finished that second layer, again, you can just add it to the bottom layer. So take it out of its hair tie and then just collect all the hair together and tie it up again. So the final bit is the top part of your hair, which this is the trickiest for me because obviously you can see mine is short layers. It's pretty much me with a bob. If I accidentally do have some of my longer bits of hair, I always curl them first. So as you can see, I'm taking it up so I can see the root. And then that will be the piece that I'll curl first. So just quickly curl that. And then for the layers, the trick is to try and make them kind of as loose as possible. So what I do is, I'll separate my fringe, so I know that this part of it is my fringe, and then I just start taking random small pieces. And then I get the barrel right by my root and just wrap around and then instantly let go. And that will slowly drop out and just become really loose. So then once I've done this top layer, which kind of looks like this, I'll normally then just put it back with the rest of the hair in a ponytail just to let it drop out a bit. And I'll probably leave it for like half an hour before I do anything styling wise. But I guess for the purpose of the video, I'll just go on and style it anyway. So then I take sea salt spray. This is the VO5 one. And I just kind of grab my hair like this and just spritz the sea salt spray. I don't like putting it too much towards the ends of the hair because it makes your hair dry. So I just kind of do that and then ruffle my hair and you can see it kind of breaks up the curls a bit. So again just ruffle it through. So it kind of looks like that. And then an optional step to kind of get rid of the dryness. Um, you could take something like this. This is basically a repair spray. This is by Alterna and it's their caviar anti-aging one. It basically just softens your hair, so spritz a bit of that on the hair. And it will just kind of add in some shine again and make it a bit softer to the touch. Apart from that, that's it really. That's how you get the kind of messy spiral curls. And then I'll take the sea salt spray with me wherever I'm going that day and then I can always just add in more if I need it. So yeah, that's it. I really hope you like the tutorial and I will see you all soon.